I people, uh, this is unbelievable. As in the kind of things we are hearing in this palace, every day we'll be hearing strange, strange things. Eh? Sometimes I'll be asking myself, those things, are they really happening or they are just making it up just to uh, tell story or anything? But we do know that this is Africa and everything is possible. I've heard of a, a woman who is uh, being as uh, someone who will be knocking her in the spirit when she is sleeping. And some people call it spiritual husband. But telling me that uh, someone might be knocking another person in the spirit just to make sure that the baby did not stay. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But from what we are hearing this time, eh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We just pray that eh, let it just be gist. Let it just be uh, alleged information that like will always tell you. Because if it is true, now be say, well, I did. This is very, very strange. Anyway, guys, welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist for the Palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, okay? And turn on the notification bell. And don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. So, information reaching us allegedly is that uh, Olori Tobi have been rushed to the hospital. This time, not because of pregnancy. Although, a lot of people said she's pregnant and others uh, believe that she's not pregnant. I cannot tell because I don't live in the palace. But the funny part of all of this thing is that they say this time the reason she was rushed to the hospital is something that a lot of people see as a strange thing. Although to some people it might not be strange, especially those that are familiar with spiritual matters, you know. So according to what we are hearing, they said Toby complained that uh, someone is coming to knock her in the night. Not physical. That when she's uh, sleeping, that a strange man will come and be knocking her. You know what I mean? Be doing her krewa, 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 krewa. The same way the king will be doing her krewa to her in the physical. The person will be doing that krewa to her in the night. And I believe, according to her, they said the main reason for this is to ensure that that baby come out. That that baby, uh, she know carry him. You know, and we do know we do know that recently we have been hearing several that Toby is complaining or having uh, attempted miscarriage. So, could it be that these people are really manipulating this girl? Because the main reason she left the palace, from what we are hearing, is that she don't believe that her baby will be safe right there in the palace. But all of this thing is happening because uh, that palace is not safe. It's not safe for them. And this is what the king is trying to prevent. Because I believe if they live separately in their houses outside the palace, some of these things that we are hearing, we will not be hearing it. Like some of these spiritual manipulations. Do you remember what uh, Dr. Elizabeth went through when she enters that palace? They said she couldn't sleep. Anytime she uh, lays down her head to sleep, she will start see seeing things. They will be manipulating her. They will be This spirit of incubus and succubus will be uh, 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 harming her. And all of that and we do know that they, they, it took them time to ratify that so if Toby is truly pregnant hmm, and uh, she left the palace and she is still experiencing this this is just to tell her that leaving the palace is not a problem it's not the solution to her problem but do you believe that those things exist anyways uh, I'm a spiritual being I believe there is what is called spiritual husband and spiritual wife and sometimes these are the things that can do all of this to you. But this is not the first marriage for Toby now. She has been married before now. Because there are some spiritual husband that is very strong. That they can go as far as eliminating your marriage. By maybe uh, constantly making you have miscarriage. Or not even uh, allow you to enjoy their marriage. For one reason or the other. But this is not Toby's first marriage. And in her first marriage, I heard she have uh, about two babies or three. So, in this case, I don't think it's that spiritual baby of a, a spiritual husband of a thing. Because if it is, I, I don't think they would have allowed her to have baby in the first one. Or maybe there is something they do to, for her to have baby. Because these are the things that happens in Africa, whether you believe it or not. But one thing I know for sure is that the power of God is more powerful than all of this. Be it spiritual husband though. Be it manipulations from the palace, or be it any form of manipulation from any source. 
if Toby be a Christ, all of these stories wouldn't have been going on. But how can she? I don't know. I'm not trying to judge anyone. I'm not trying to judge anyone. But if you can leave your husband to be with another man's husband, you are not in Christ. Yes. And the way you enter that marriage self. Ah, I don't know what to say. But one thing I can say is that Toby need to uh, 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 seek for Christ and be in Christ if she really wants to survive in this marriage. But before that, she needs to go and apologize to Queen Naomi for all that they have done to her because they really hurt that lady. And I believe it's because they hurt her that some of them are passing through some of the things they are seeing in that palace right now. And that is not going to stop until until they confess to her because they really need to confess and uh, uh, ask for her apologies then only then will she uh, uh, forgive them and pray for them even it have come out from toby's mouth before that her prophet i her prophet has told her that they need to go to when they have offended her they, uh, she, they need to apologize to her and confess to her and until she prays for them that they are never going to be pregnant and they are never going to give birth to a child. You know there is difference between being pregnant and giving a child to a, uh, giving birth to a child. So I'm not trying to say that Toby is not pregnant too, and I am not trying to say that she's pregnant. But Mariam have not stopped saying that Toby is not pregnant, that she wants to do some arranging and all of that. But they say Toby is crying bitterly, seeking for only of his first attention. And their love. Uh, if truly Toby is pregnant, I believe Toby, uh, the king should at least give her a little attention. Mm? Because whether he likes it or not, Toby is still his wife. And Toby is that one woman that will always want the husband to pamper her. Record that when she was at the palace. They say anytime she feels like a, it's been long that the king knock her and all of that. Or maybe she wanted to be with her husband. She will start crying. She will start, uh, 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 you know, crying, especially when she find out that the king is around. They say she will always come out to cry. And that was why they say Madam will always bless her, telling her, do you think you are still a baby? Cry, cry, queen, and all of that. <laughs> Everyone have their own way of uh, getting their husband, uh, a way of trying to get the husband's attention. Someone like uh, Mariam, they say that one will always faint. <laughs> and whenever she faints, the king will look her way and they, you know, attend to her. But this time around, we heard that the last one that she fainted, the king just ignored her. That is tell you that levels don't change. This is uh, no longer the way it used to be. We normally don't come back to the picture. So any of their drama this time, if they are not careful enough, it will not be yielding any fruit to them. Anyway, guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Bye for now. Love you guys.